So we've piped that, uh, put that um, micro balloon and epoxy mix into the bank bag. I've nipped off the corner. Now we're going to turn this over and I'm going to put it on the edge of the workbench. Um, roll up the Ziploc bag so that I can put some pressure on it. And then we just start piping it all the way along into this area between the the skin and onto the flash tape and you can see I'm putting quite a liberal amount it's not very very small amount um, this needs to flow out uh, to create the nice a nice knuckle this just takes a little bit of practice and a bit of patience to get a nice bead on here Yeah, I need it right up to the very end. Now, <clears throat> I need to fold this back underneath. So I'm going to remove the masking tape that's holding the hinge in the uh, control surface open. Let this come back over the top. Why don't you just hold it for me, Rob? Thank you. And then I'm just going to use a card to tuck this tape, basically under the edge and then I'm going to flip this over and Rob is going to cut me two strips of of uh, tape you need four hands here <laughs> yeah. okay so I'm just going to stretch a piece of masking tape across and around underneath and this is just going to stop the aileron from actually um, closing because we don't want that to close and then we end up with a straight um, so we just do the same on this side over here. We don't want to end up with that. We want that. Oh, well, we want that knuckle material. Sorry, I pulled too hard. So we're going to have to just tuck this back in again. Uh, just run along here, tucking it back in. All right, and then I'm going to keep it in in that position, that sort of semi-open position. Alright, this one over here is relaxed, so I need to just get it straightened out and just tape this masking tape down here and that'll keep that in a semi-open position. Just get a bit of tension on that one, tuck it underneath. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this for now just on the workbench at about that angle so that I've got pretty much an angle going down and an angle coming up the actual aileron or the control surface going a little bit up and just set it in a position so that the wing or the uh, uh, airfoil goes this way and the aileron goes up a little bit and we just leave it to cure in that position and tomorrow morning or tomorrow evening, 24 hours later, we'll come and we'll remove all of that and I'll show you how we fix up the, uh, just tidy up the knuckle. But now because the knuckle is sitting in a bit of a curve and that, that goop is that sort of can run out and fill that trough, if you so to speak, all the way along that control surface. Thank you.